great tool to use. Midwives might ask you to move into different positions to slow your labour down or to help your baby to descend and progress your labour. Positions incorporate gravity, they open the pelvis and they allow for massage and rest between your contractions. If a woman is allowing her body to move through her labour, she will normally assume positions that are the most comfortable for her at the time. She can make use of gravity and also move between positions as the baby moves deeper into and through the birth canal. Supported by furniture, pillows, bean bags or other people, positions can allow for rest, particularly between contractions when they are needed the most. Almost at the end of the contraction, if you can just go, you know, and just let all that tension out and just flop somewhere. And it's that exhaling voice. Um, exhale is just going to let that tension go. Mm -hmm. And as someone's even said the two words, like you can talk about affirmations and things like that, but no is no, yeah. and you tend to be like that. But even if you say yes, yes, and it's a yeah. <laughs> and I've heard people talk about find your note and it's oh. you know the yeah. lower you can go the more open you're going to be mm -hmm. so if you ah, I can't yeah, do this it's, it's all, all up here and everything's yes. tied up here mm. but if it's down low and it's oh. you might find that you get a lot of pressure in your pelvis particularly around your coccyx sacral pressure is a great tool to use now and during labour one technique is to place the heel of your hand at the top of your sacrum and either massage or just hold the pressure on. Be guided by how the mother feels. Forward facing positions seem to take a lot of the pressure off your back and it has been known for a very long time that your whole sacrum, in particular your coccyx, will move as your baby descends through your pelvis. So being on your back or lying on your sacrum is not the best position to birth in. If you are in the bath, the buoyancy of the water will help. So this does not seem to be a problem. Leaning, mm. kneeling forward and it's going to open up. So, so you, that coccyx will actually uh, deflect um, out, move out, of or move out of the way. We want to really keep that pelvis loose and relaxed. So you can just let the body gently rock from side to side. From this position then it becomes easy to be able to take one foot forward and out to the side and again we can rock in this manner. You only need to try this a couple of times yourself to actually feel how it frees your pelvis. So you almost can create a bit of a dance I suppose you'd say. From here I can kneel and then from there I might want to come up and just kneel in this way and you can rest. You can lean back then in between the contraction, rest, drink plenty of water and prepare for the next contraction, just being aware of your breathing. If you are feeling tired and want to lie down, try lying on your side with lots of pillows. It is possible to have your baby in this position as well. An alternative when tired is to take a bath where you can relax in the warmth and the weightlessness of the water.